Hello everyone. Uh, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is Sunil here. So today we are going to discuss about uh, the one of the interesting packages that I came across recently, which actually help us in our day-to-day -day life, uh, you know, with the task. So we know as a being a computational chemist and medicinal chemist, we spend a lot of time in the data analysis, data curation, data conversions, and, you know, making a wonderful presentations by, you know, processing the uh, files. So towards that, I came across this package called uh, uh, PyCDXML, which is, uh, uh, you know, uh, generated by the Juice uh, Kiner. So it's actually help us, you know, in, uh, in handling the Kendra files, uh, you know, especially when you are converting from uh, CDX to CDXML and CDX to style uh, converter and followed by making a beautiful PowerPoint presentations from STF itself and aligning them and style conversions, a lot can be done. And especially with the PyCDXML, it comes with the uh, three major uh, uh, options that's called CDXML converter, which actually help us in converting one format to other. And CDXML uh, slide generator, which actually help us to generate, uh, uh, you know, slides directly from so SD, SD file to CDX and CDX to, uh, you know, specify the slide generator. And this is especially, you know, when you're working with uh, uh, publications, uh, PowerPoint presentation, and you want to present a chemical structures in a specific format, uh, like ACS 996 and uh, some medchem journal. So you can, uh, this package will actually help us, uh, you know, converting the requirement, right? So let's come back to the installation step. Uh, so all you need to do is I'm, I'm going to sh share my YouTube, uh, my GitHub link uh, with uh, provided by the XML YML file. So all you need to download this YML file and um, use this command in Anaconda, conda space env create hyphen uh, PYC XML. Uh, so this package is nothing but of, it's installing a basic uh, Python uh, which is uh, equal to or greater than uh, 3.8 version and uh, RDK, NumPy, PyYML, and uh, some other packages called Matplotlib, Bankpip. And once you install this, uh, you know, uh, once you create a virtual environment, all you need to do is activate uh, PYCDXML and, uh, you know, copy the original uh, PYCDXML uh, package from GitHub and go to the directory. And you can start playing with the file systems, right? Okay, so now, once you install and uh, configure your, uh, uh, let's say, PyCDXML, so let's go to the what actually it does, right? So, especially like when it comes to the CDXML converter, like as we discussed in the initial stages, uh, initial uh, uh, presentation, like, um, the CDXML converter package will actually help us in, you know, uh, simplifying our workflows, like a converting from CDX to XML file and, uh, you know, converting its, uh, you know, uh, from ST file to CDX, right? So let's see the first one. The, when it comes to the RDK, like uh, when you are working with ST files, uh, you know, all you can actually use the RDK uh, component to read, uh, library to read the ST file and uh, use the CDXML uh, converter to convert the ST file into the uh, mold document and uh, and apply those uh, into the CDXML conversion, right? Now, let's go into the next one. So these are the some basic uh, three option that is available with the CDXML converter, CDX to CDXML and CDXML to the base encoded CDX and followed by RDK Kendra. So this is nothing but of reading mold file or ST files from using RDK package then converting into CDXML, right? Now, let's imagine you wanted to generate a slides uh, and imagine you are in a situation that you are dealing with ST file and you are manually uh, taking the structures from ST file and copy and pasting into the uh, Kendra and applying the styles and applying, you know, cop preparing, a, uh, adding manually the properties as a text, right? 
So with the slide generator options, you, you can actually, you know, uh, simplify that process, right? So all you need to is uh, here, we are using an RDK package uh, from RDK importing can dot can. And from CDXML, we are actually using CD, uh, the CDXML slide generator and we are actually importing converter. So the first of all, let's read, uh, you know, the SD file by using data directory. So here we are taking an example SD file from RDK itself. That's, uh, the file uh, is nothing but of CDA, EDK to SDF. And we are actually using RTKit, uh, chem library. So chem dot HTML supplier and reading the ST file. And let's see what is the ST file contains. So this is the ST file that we are reading here. So this ST file contains the structure and followed by some ID, jint and cluster and model source creation and um, mm fold uh, uh, potential energies right now let's see whether we can actually pull it up id and uh, whether model source or cluster number or rmms uh, derivative energies right so all you need to do is once you read the st file using articulate uh, component right uh, let's write a cdxml uh, code foreign code that actually converts uh, uh, mold document to CDXML. And um, so here is the important takeover. It's so not only converting the ST file uh, structures into CDX, it's also taking the text properties from, uh, you know, uh, ST file and automatically converting them into the, you know, text as a text property in CDX file. So as we've seen in the here, uh, what we are doing from each molecule in the CDX to ST file, we're actually taking the text property and we are actually copying in Kendra file, right? So here in example, we're trying to do is a CDXML slide generator, text properties ID. So which is Jink ID, we have seen that. And uh, we are also actually capturing the energy, RM uh, field uh, potential energies. And uh, we're actually, what we are trying to do is, uh, we are trying to use the, uh, CDXML slide generated package and trying to capture the two properties from ST file and total five columns and three rows. You can change it uh, if you wish. So let's generate a ST file, right? So here I'm trying to write that into a CDXML file, right? Let's uh, execute this one. So all we are, just, I'm just uh, trying to repeat the same thing. All we are trying to do, take the ST file from Anticate uh, example uh, data files and we are trying to convert into cdx uh, you know simply came uh, came to a format and we're also taking some text properties along with that right let's execute that so yeah so you can see that cdx level use style right so it simply executed like as we've seen and as we mentioned in uh, the example. So number of properties are two and columns are five and rows are three. If you have more uh, molecules in ST file, maybe you can try to split it and uh, try to generate, uh, you know, write a for loop, uh, maybe some other function, maybe you can execute manually, try to generate a CDXML file. So. You can see from directly from STF, you can actually extract all the text that you need, right? Let's say one more thing. So here, instead of energies, I want cluster, right? Let's execute again. So you can see, Imagine you are working with the diversity analysis, the similarity analysis, and uh, you have a ST file and you are planning to present it to an internal meeting. So you, all you can do is present it with the structure and the compound ID and cluster numbers. It's done. It's just a matter of seconds. Yeah. Right. So, okay, sorry. 
Now let's come to the next one. So here, what I'm trying to do is, let me close this package. Yeah, so here, what I'm trying to do is, along with this, uh, you know, the same code. So here, in this example, I'm trying to apply the ACS 996, 1996 uh, style. If you want, you can apply your own, uh, uh, you know, styling as well, uh, the case, uh, existing Kendra style. So all you need to is, uh, you know, you need to define the, the CDXML uh, ACS 996 uh, file path in here. Now, so I'm generating a one more file here. Or I'm not changing any code. Uh, it's just like a duplicate of above code. I'm just added to one more field that's called style. So I'm trying to generate a, another CDXML file here. It's done. So you can see the same uh, camera file, which is applied to CDXML uh, uh, styling, right? So this done. Okay, now let me take an example here. So with a small one. So here uh, I have a testing.cdxml file, uh, Quenolin 5 old. So the file name is testing.cdxml here. I'm just trying to, I have a camera file, which I want to convert into one style to another. So this is my uh, code here. So cdxml style, uh, styler and converter, we are using both packages. So here we are trying to apply cdxml uh, path, right? So in here I copied uh, cdxml acs 996c.cdxml file here. Maybe you can define directly from Kendra uh, original path where you can define the path and see the XML here. And here, this is your input file. And this is output file. So you can change it, right? And uh, let's try to apply the document, right? Let's run it. Yep, it's done. So you can see both files here, the change, right? So as Arthur mentioned, this package is currently under development mode. Uh, so he actually welcomed, uh, uh, you know, uh, if you are interested to develop this package and if you are interested to contribute, you can actually, uh, you know, explore and install the package in development mode and you can actually, you know, suggest your uh, changes, right? And Arthur also notified some uh, issues uh so like uh, this is still under uh, the project is still under beta version and there are some uh, concerns with the while with the cdxml converter so as you can see here some of them are, i'm highlighting here so this may be you can actually refer before you are applying this uh, package and make sure you know you install correctly and you understand the limitations and CDXML stylus. So these are the limitations. Sometimes it may directly affect the display of bond length and label size and so forth. And uh, there is another package from the same uh, developer, the molecular slide generator that we'll discuss in the uh, one more session, right? So maybe if you have uh, some idea, some thoughts, you can actually you know, reach out to the Ryzen issue or reach out to the creator. Uh, with the test examples, right? Thank you all, and hope you enjoyed, uh, you know, discussing about this package, and follow me if you want to, uh, you know, learn more about some interesting tricks and tips about chemi informatics and uh, some coding packages, right? Thank you.